the goddess also introduced the word cosmos. Cosmos means order, rhythm, harmony. Existence is not a chaos but a cosmos. Pythagoras has contributed much to human thought, to human evolution. His vision of a cosmos became the very foundation of all scientific investigation. Science can exist only if existence is a cosmos. If it is a chaos, there is no possibility of any science. If laws change every day, every moment, one day the water evaporates on 100 degrees, another day on 500 degrees. If water functions in a whimsical way and follows no order, how can there be a science? Science presupposes that existence functions in a consistent way, in a rational way, that existence is not mad, that if we search deep into existence, we are bound to find laws, and those laws are the keys to all the mysteries. Just as it is true for science, it is true for religion too, because religion is nothing but the science of the inner. The outer science is called science, the inner science is called religion. But both can exist only in a cosmos. There are laws of the inner world. Those laws have been discovered just as much as scientific laws has been discovered. Neither scientific laws have been invented, nor religious laws have been invented. Truth is, you need not invent it, and whatsoever you invent will be untrue. All inventions are lies. Yes. Truth has to Enjoy be discovered, time. not invented. Mm -hmm. Einstein discovers a certain law. Patanjali also discovers a certain law. Newton discovers gravitation. Mm -hmm. Krishna discovers grace. Both are laws. One belongs to the earth, the other belongs to the sky. One belongs to the world of necessity, the other belongs to the world of power. One belongs to the visible and the other belongs to the invisible. It is in the vision of a cosmos that Pythagoras became the originator of a scientific concept of the world. He is the first scientist because he provided the very foundation. His idea of cosmos has to be understood because without understanding it you will not be able to understand what he is talking about. The inner world, the world of the spirit, follows certain laws 
and those laws are unchangeable they are perennial hence i have called this series philosophia perennis the perennial philosophy those laws are not time bound they are beyond time time itself functions within those laws if you want to do something in the outside world you will need to know how the outer existence functions because unless you know how it functions you are bound to fail nature has no obligation to adjust with you you will have to adjust with nature you can win nature only by adjusting yourself to nature you can become a conqueror too but not against nature with nature in tune with nature you can become a master of the inner kingdom too but not against the laws but in tune with those laws it is because of this mystic vision that the world is not accidental not anarchic 